Hi, it's me, KJH the filmmaker slash artist, and welcome to KJH Family and Fun. So pretty much this year on KJH Family and Fun, I am creating another really good memory. So pretty much for this memory, I'm actually going to be creating something for St. Patrick's Day. So pretty much what I have here is that I have like this, this green bracelet that I made out of fabric and some fabric marker, which says Happy St. Patrick's Day on. And what I'm going to do is, so right now I'm just going to wear this on my, on my wrist for St. Patrick's Day, as long as people don't pinch me or dislike me for not wearing green. So I'm just going to wear green, green right about now, so that I don't get pinched or or get a dislike, even though I already fall victim of being a bully. And, and two of that pinching does sound like considered bully. Let's we'll just call pinching just a new form of bad luck or something like that. Like it's bad luck to pinch somebody else, especially when they're wearing green. Well, let's call it pinching is the new bad luck, especially when you're wearing green or especially when you're pinching someone who's wearing green. So just don't try to pinch anybody else, especially on St. Patrick's Day or otherwise one of these days the event might be banned, especially at school. And the school probably might ban St. Patrick's Day all because yeah, pretty much one kid or teenager was reported injured from the pinching. So don't pinch anybody and don't be a bully, okay? Just show some likeness on St. Patrick's Day. Well, funny story that is. Well, one time when we were having, a, one time when we were like having a Zoom meeting, my sister decided to do a DNA test and still having the DNA test, and we're like 67 percent African American and the other 34 percent said they were Europeans. And within that 34 percent, well, there was only like one percent of it being. Irish, and just because I'm like 1% Irish doesn't make me a leprechaun or anything else. Well, I'm still always inviting myself, for all I notice, and... Or maybe that DNA test is just nothing but lies or something like that, because my dad told me not to believe what they see on the internet. So, right now, I just decided to celebrate St. Patrick's Day by baking a St. Patrick's Day themed cake. So, you kind of see I got here like this fun fitty cake, it's not bad, so inside here happens to be... This cake mix packages, and then there's this icing for the cake when it's baked, and also this Lucky Charm cereal, cereal bowl thing. And one more thing to note: I'm not sponsoring any of these cereal companies that owns Lucky Charms, so I'm just trying to make Lucky Charm themed cake. And I definitely do have like have a parent figure who is literally like concerned about my health. And whenever he's like concerned about my health, he probably might get irritated every time I just eat anything that is like sugar wise well I know that you're watching this so pretty much even if you got a parent figure that's concerned about your health you can just use that this Lucky, Lucky Charm cereal just for sprinkles for cake instead of just for your breakfast cereal even though my parents let me eat healthy cereals like Cheerios or something like that yeah that's pretty much the kind of healthy cereals that I, my parents let me eat instead of sugar for breakfast so otherwise they're gonna make me think I'm eating sugar for breakfast without further ado we're just gonna get baking and it's gonna be baking into this square sized pan over here so I'm just gonna start baking by now That's why I had to spray it all over things so it can remove things easily. I'm just gonna spray it with a paper towel and half.
Hi there, it's me again. You know that I definitely find you do have a website. So pretty much about this website, it not only sells like physical artwork, it also sells like digital artwork. Because the digital artwork is way more cheaper than the physical one. But even if you can't seem to afford the that expensive physical artwork that is on the internet, and even though it, one of them might cost like over $200 or so, well, as a matter of fact, I definitely find you do have like digital artwork that costs like $1 a digital download. All you gotta do is, is go to my website and and go to shop and find digital artwork and all you gotta do is pick one of these digital artwork that you probably might, li might like and then you and then all you gotta do is add it to the chart and then it's digitally download and all you gotta do is, is click on it, pay for it and click on the artwork that you'll like find for one dollar dollar download, pay for it and then it will download! okay well technically you just had to press to click the word download once you purchase that digital art piece for some reason on. And what's even best for your digital art piece is that you can use it for wallpapers on your computers, your cell phone, your tablets, and also your Apple Watch here. Since I own an Apple Watch, so. Maybe we can just go back to the baking with St. Patrick's Day because, because the cake is about to be done. And once the cake's done, we're just gonna put the fire frosting on and then we're just, and then we're just gonna call it Happy St. Patrick's Day. So let's get back to baking. Well, as a matter of fact, I finally got this cake done and it looks, 100% completely vanity done because what I did do is I'm gonna use a toothpick to see if it's done. And guess what? It says it's done for some reason on. But even if it wasn't done, then it had to go back in the oven. Yeah, as a matter of fact, I had to put it back in the oven all because it wasn't 100% done all the way completely. Well, at least I finally got this cake right here. Maybe I can just mix up the frosting over here, so I'm just gonna show it to you right now. So you gotta see we have our frosting here and these. Sprinkles that we're going to use, use it for sprinkles, and we also have like these food color here. So we're just going to use like the color. The color green over here, and I'm just going to squirt it on this frosting here, so we can just finally have a green frosting for our St. Patrick's Day dessert. So I guess we're just going to continue on the mixing then. I finally had to remove this cake out while I'm, even though it seems like it's going down and even though it's like a square cake for some reason on so I'm just gonna have to get started with frosting this cake with this kind of frosting here and, but I might have to do something at first. I might have to cut it with this knife. One more thing to note it's not safe and it's not some play toy. It's not for kids so just be careful. So. Just don't be playing with it because it's not a toy or anything else, so I'm just gonna use the knife to just cut the cake in, her, in half in the most horizontal manner ever. So I'm just gonna do it right now. Yeah, I cut the cake in half and I'm gonna have to try it more to another plate or something.
Hi everybody, I hope you guys like, like seeing me making a cake for while I was working. Sorry I just turned the camera off because, well, the battery's kind of getting low on that camera thing. And there's something else I haven't even told you in the beginning, is that I did, if I need to play an Animal Crossing, well, before I even got ready for baking a cake, and you kind of see that Animal Crossing is also celebrating St. Patrick's too, if you know what I mean. Well, I'm not sponsoring Nintendo, or the guy who created Animal Crossing, probably knows. But as a matter of fact, I finally finished up with that cake, decorating that cake, and here it is because I nailed it! Okay, I know some of y'all people are concerned about this, but I know it looks like nothing but a Frankenstein monster kind of cake, and it looks like I just create nothing but a monster. It looks like it might come to life and pretty much might try to eat you or something like that, especially in the middle of the night. And I cannot finally imagine if this becomes a horror film. <laughs> Call it the monster cake or something like that. Well, at least even though it looks kind of messed up from the outside, but on the inside it's still magically delicious, right? Okay, so part of you saw this. You probably might have had to disagree with that anyway. But you know what? I'm not much of a professional baker or anything else, but I'm still a professional artist, and I, well, at least I'm still good at using the resin for some reason on. Even though I made my first resin project, which is it's available by now, and I was thinking about making a, 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 a second resin project, which is probably coming soon anyway. And I'm still coming up with ideas. What else do I have to say about this? Well, I might have to say that's all I have in order to present all this, so even if you want to look at more information, there's more information on my website. And even if you want to watch the video, either whether you want to watch the, watch the video series or the individual video tape, which happens to be the full version as well as the trailer version. So you can also pick that, hit that pink subscribe button on the top right, and you can actually pay for $10 per month for a subscription. But even if you can't see it for $10 per month, there's also need some other options, so you can also hit that, hit the blue red that says subscription on the bottom somewhere, and, and you can just find the short-term subscription, these two short-term subscriptions, whether you buy the 50 cents one or the three dollars and, and 50 cents either way. Well, part of it is always up to you. And I might have to say thanks for watching. You can just give this video table a like if you like it, thumbs up if you if you agree with this. Even though I might have to eat this cake pretty much after dinner because it's not dinner yet, so it's just a dessert meal. And I might have to say thanks for watching. And you can just also try to subscribe to this channel, including other three channels are free if you're new to this channel and I might have to say thanks for watching and also give the artist a high five so thanks for watching